always the moment before the attack you feel like, okay, it's coming, it's gonna, you know that it's gonna be super painful. I think it's a natural from our bodies to be like, I don't want that, I don't wanna suffer, why would I wanna suffer? But like the moment you do it, you unlock your mental power, then you're not afraid and you dictate the pace, you dictate the dynamic of the race and that makes you just like invincible. And there are other days that you come to the race and you're like, okay, I know I'm strong, but like mentally you question yourself or you question how strong are others. And the moment you think about it, to be honest, the race is over. So I feel like in my personal case, it's all about just the, the mindset. And this is the only thing that like separates me from winning a race or getting fourth or fifth. I grew up in the mountains and people from the mountains are called Gurale in Polish. And they are known as a loud people. They are known as a people who just like express themselves with their feelings, with their laughters, with the, they're just very emotional, I think. And, but they are also very feisty. As a kid, for example, always whenever we were playing around, it was just like always getting it, never letting go, never giving up at anything, basically. If you want to win, you really have to be a fighter, and usually fighter is not polite or kind to anyone. I feel like balancing energy from like uh, being a woman that is loving and caring to like being a fighter that is like very feisty and I don't know. It's very interesting, but. If you put that one event as a priority in your life, then like being athlete is a selfish thing to do. I have had the experience of being a professional cyclist and being somebody of public interest. I feel like, at least on the racing side, Kasha exists in a whole different realm than I ever existed in. She's so much more competitive in every single race that she does, so I respect that. She might get frustrated that she doesn't win more often, but I'm like, yo, if I got fifth place in this race or eighth place in this race, like that would make my year and I would be super stoked. Thank. Polish on the bottom, Italian on the top. So differing perspectives, and if anything, I feel like I can no. Let her know that you pass the tests. she's a badass <laughs> and the fact that she wants more all the time and the fact that she's always in the front and so consistent just <laughs> makes her the champion that she is, you know? Oh, that's true actually, Kahanya. But you know, also as an artist, sometimes you feel that you're in the flow. So you forget about the time, you just create. You're just like so in. So I feel like that's the race state that you always want to be in. It hurts you, it always hurts, but then somehow it's easier to accept the pain. It's like a hole that you fall into and then you kind of come out the other side. So you sort of, as an athlete, you kind of live for these moments, but they're very fleeting and you can't you can't do much to bring them about. It's there and when you lose it then you're you're coming back to the starting point, you know. It's such a like fragile thing that you cannot like just embrace and keep it forever. Just like you have to be so like appreciative of it as well. Because it's it just happens. You just feel it, you know? You just like go with it. I don't know where that power comes from. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a baby jump at the end. But there's also like, you can see the yellow writings, like lines. That's mine. Oh, that was yellow? Yeah. Or so, or? So, yeah. Mm. 
start making out now. <laughs> I feel like no one really talks about it, but like of course with racing you not only like feel happiness but always there's like disappointment or sadness or frustration, anger, like all those mixed feelings. But what do you do in order to get back into your normal routine or normal mindset? Quite often, I like come back from Poland or from, I don't know, any basically friends gathering and I feel like I cannot be 100% myself because I just have this fatigue that like stops me from being who I am. And that definitely makes me feel weirdly guilty. Like I'm always like, oh no, like why was I like this? Why I was kind of closed? But then I just have to accept that the, the sport makes me feel that way. Perhaps that's the part that I would just like to uh, swap with somebody for. <laughs> or like I would kind of discourage them from thinking that the cycling life is so beautiful. Because it is beautiful, but also there are always some sort of consequences or just like the barriers that stop you from interacting with other people. And sometimes you just feel lonely with that, you know? Yeah, loneliness, I feel like it's quite a big part of the sport but it's also good because you learn a lot about yourself with that. <laughs>